The medical community is hopeful this morning after the FDA approved a new drug that could potentially slow down the advancement of early stage Alzheimer's disease. It's called Lakembi, and trial research suggests it could be up to 27% effective within the first 18 months. Let's bring in NBC News senior medical correspondent, Dr. John Torres, for more on this. So first of all, let's go over the basics. What do we know about Lakembi? Who qualifies? We should also talk about these, these risks, which some doctors are quite concerned about. So Lakembi is also Lakanumab. That's a scientific name. That MAB at the end, MAB, is monoclonal antibody. So it's a monoclonal antibody, much like you can think of during the pandemic where you're using it to boost your immune system to treat COVID. Here it's boosting your immune system to treat Alzheimer's. And it's attacking the plaques, which we know, the, the, the uh, plaques in the brain that we know contribute towards Alzheimer's. And it gets rid of those. But in the past, just getting rid of them didn't seem to do much as far as cognition. This one, like you mentioned, has that 27% decrease in the decrease of cognition loss over the next 18 months. So essentially it's giving people about a five month spread of, of not having uh, Alzheimer's, of improving their Alzheimer's, or not improving it, but not making it worse. So what we do know is that there are ways you have to take this. It's an IV therapy. You have to take every two weeks. You have to go in there. It's probably going to take a couple hours. For some, that could be a bit cumbersome. We do know that there are some side effects. Brain swelling and brain bleeding were the biggest side effects. 14% of people in the trials had serious side effects in the original trials. And so there is some concern there. And experts are going back and forth. Some are saying the improvements are modest, which might not be good enough for this medicine to work as well as we'd like it to. Families, on the other hand, are saying, hey, we'll take anything at this point. We have nothing. Please give us this. No surprise. It's expensive. The drug right now costs about more than $26,000 a year. Most of that cost covered by Medicare and other large insurance companies. But who's actually going to be covered for that? So Medicare has three different requirements. Number one, you have to be on Medicare. That's the biggest requirement. Number two, you have to have moderate cognition loss. And so it has to be moderate Alzheimer's, which means you have to get tested. So you also have to have those plaques. So you have to have MRIs. You might have to have subsequent MRIs and some testing as well to find out where your cognition is. And in number three, your doctor has to register you in a registry so they can follow the progression and see how the drug's doing over time. CMS, who runs Medicare, is very adamant about making sure that doctors understand it's easy to get on that registry because some doctors might be hesitant because of cumbersome issues in the past. And so, you know, you want to make sure that the doctor understands that. So if you're thinking of this drug for yourself or for a loved one, what are the big questions you should be asking your doctor right now about the benefits, about the risks as you weigh all of that? And that's essentially it. What are the, what are the risks at this point? And that, again, that brain swelling and brain bleeding, most of those were asymptomatic, meaning they didn't show any symptoms and they improved over time. But for some, it wasn't. There were some deaths in the trial as well that were attributed to this medication. So ask about that. Ask about the benefits. Will it help my particular family member who we're talking about? about. And you know, do I need to be tested at this point to find out if I qualify in that category of that moderate decline of my cognition? And also talk to them if they're hesitant say, hey, you know, from what I understand, it's easy to get on that registry. Can we look at getting on that registry so we can go ahead and qualify for it? Is this an important step toward finding a cure? It is. It's a very important step because right now the fact that we're seeing this progression of medications and each medication seems to be doing better and better, particularly as far as that cognition decline, which is all important. Hopefully we get to the point where we get that cognition stopped, possibly even reversed, and we get that holy grail, which is the cure for Alzheimer's, keeping our fingers crossed. All right, Dr. John Torres, thanks so much. Good to see you in New York this week. You bet. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.